Okay, gonna be running some wire today. We got a sharpie. We're gonna mark each end of the uh, run, whether it's uh, office or office, bedroom plugs, uh, master bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, whatever. Mark it on this end so you know. Technically, I believe by code you have to have it marked. I'm not real familiar with the electric code. Uh, never had to worry about it before. Uh, done a lot of reading up on it. I believe I got it pretty well figured out though. It's a lot. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get started on it. Okay, that's I knocked out enough of them. Don't want to knock too many out because they can't be blank or be knocked out with nothing through them. Got these. They're the press in, they don't hold in as good, but they're within code. Not too worried about it twisting up. I really am not going to be going through that many walls. I will have to do some drilling though. Let me go get the uh, drill. studs drilled out. I do not have to drill any exterior walls. This wire can go behind. because this will have electricity to it. Just gonna shove it through there. Give myself plenty. Then I'll run one from, that's in the top bottom. Sorry for the hum, that's charger. I'm actually charging a battery if you can hear it. This camera, the mic picks up really well. Anyways, 
I put it in the bottom. I run the other one up and around to the ceiling. I've not put any ceiling boxes in yet, no light boxes. I will do that. I got a little extra wire. I guess I got a little crazy with it. So I'm gonna pull some of it back through. too long, you'll always use scrap. I decided to bring this one in from the bottom. I was going to bring it in from the top. You do want extra. You want plenty. Plenty of extra. Okay. Okay, we'll write on this your home run that goes into the breaker, what it is. Whether it's a bedroom, an office, a bathroom. All right. All right, you just write it on there and you're good. I don't have the breakers for it yet. I should have bought them, but I haven't. So I can't hook it up yet. I don't want to hook it up until I get everything ran anyways. That's my way for doing it. But I will wire all of my boxes up. I'm gonna show you how to do one of them. Okay. Well, that ain't gonna work. There we go. All right, six inches. 
six inches out and the surface of the box. These are six and a quarter inch long. Snip. Snip. Save your extras. You'll use them. I go down the middle, that's where your ground is. You don't want to cut through the insulation of your actual wires. Especially, well, regardless, you don't. You'll know if you do if you run an arc fault or ground fault. I guess arc fault would trip it easier. All right. Bring them down. Them over. We'll start with these. Let me cut one of these loose. Wire nut. I like the wire nuts with the little wings on it. You can twist them harder. All right, for your hot. Your extra piece. That went a little too long. There we go. Same thing for your ground.
forgot to put the I like the extra deep boxes for this reason. You can get more wire in it and it makes it a whole lot easier. All right, there you go. We'll trim these off and skin them whenever we go to put the plugs on. Right now with Corona going on, hardware store is short-handed. Uh, it's an hour and 20 minutes to the next hardware store. Uh, and I don't feel like making that drive. That's uh, three hours of my day gone. I'll just wait until they get another shipment in. I'll get the plugs. They want the plugs that's, I forget what they're, they call them. Uh, anyways, I have like the little flap inside of them. Uh, I guess it makes it harder for a kid to stick a key in or a new screw or a nail or something. It won't let it go in unless both of them's being pressed in at the same time. They don't have none at the hardware store at all. Well, they do, but they're 15 amp. I'm going with 20 amps. All right, that's how you do that. Like I said, you can trim these off. Well, I'll show you that later. We'll get started on the rest of them and I'll finish wiring this up. <laughs> 